the seven deadliest shapes the earth can be. Starting off with a donut. I told you that in another universe, earth could be shaped like a donut? What? Well, you'd probably think I'm crazy. No, but I wouldn't, brother. Theoretically? Because you know what's crazy? Is that we're spinning on a, on a, on a, on a, on a circle it, already. It could happen. This alternate earth might also be squeezed into the shape of a dumbbell. Or it could even be flat. Okay, maybe that one's a bit harder to pull off, but Earth could be many strange and different shapes. No, it already Today, is fun. I'll take you. Just kidding. When I went onto this video, look what I saw. <laughs> we got a little um, fact checker here. <laughs> Through seven of the weirdest possibilities. Some shapes can be incredibly dangerous, while others might be better in some ways than what we have now. Number seven, Donut Earth. Yeah, let's see. On a donut earth or a... I would love to live like right here. You could just go whoosh, We could see a Torus-shaped earth, as the science community likes to call it. Gravity would be very different. Depending on where you're standing, you could weigh up to three times less than what you weigh right now. Our current round earth has a surface gravity of 1G, but things would be a bit different on a donut earth. At the poles, the surface gravity would be 0.65 Gs, while near the equator, it would only be 0.03 Gs. You'd feel like you're bouncing around on Mars. Also, be fun. the moon would act strange. It could behave in two different ways. It might be pulled toward the hole and bob up Ooh. and down in the middle like this, or it might be affected by the gravity of the donut's outer edges and create Now, wouldn't that just be a sight movement. to see, guys? Uh, this would chilling on here and the moon tides and cause unstable water levels, destroying cities that sit on the coasts. The weather in certain parts of the planet would also be extreme. Massive hurricanes and storms would be wreaking havoc. Now, despite these problems, it would still be possible for humans to survive on this planet. Sure, some places would be inhospitable and it might be hard to travel due to the low gravity, but we could live here. Number What's six, the next shape? Dumbbell okay. Earth. This one just looks sick because you got one Earth here and it's like, guys, I'm going to go check out the other Earth. You go through it, this little thing goes, and then you're here. That looks sick to me. Okay, this <laughs> next planet falls a little further into the realm of science fiction, but let's... Okay, actually, never mind. It looks like you don't go through it. I thought that was like a tube. But it looks like you go on it, which would still be sick. Imagine going off of one Earth onto this little thing. Go check it out anyway. This is Dumbbell Earth. It's two separate planets connected by a narrow middle section. The gravity in this part would be significantly weaker. The middle section would essentially be being pulled in two directions by the outer planets. This would create some extreme volcanic activity which might cause the planets to break apart. Crossing between the planets would be incredibly dangerous and in some cases fun. impossible due to the gravity. Now, living yeah, on that. either of the outer Earths would feel pretty close to what we have now. They'd have similar gravity, weather, and atmosphere. The main difference would be that each Earth would have different cultures and technology. They might evolve differently and contain completely different species. Hey! Number 5. Ellipsoid Earth Okay, this kind of Earth would be egg-shaped, not the sphere that we're used to. It would still be habitable, but there'd be some major differences from how we live now. And how why is that? It would be stronger or weaker depending like, on where you like stood on the this. planet. The more narrow parts of the planet would have the strongest gravity, and the wider sides would have weaker gravity. You'd also notice some differences in the weather. Places along the equator would have a broad range of tropical, milder temperatures, and places near the polar regions would be much colder and have more extreme temperatures than what we're used to. Oh, great. But overall, apart from a few differences, a planet like this would be very livable for us humans. Number well, it's four, the closest to the, to the circle, Earth. so I could see that. Yeah, okay, before we have some fun talking about a flat Earth, let's make something crystal clear. A flat planet is impossible, and we definitely don't live on one. Gravity naturally shapes massive celestial bodies into spheres, so a flat Earth would completely alter our understanding of gravity. And it's just impossible. 
But living on a flat Earth, the air pressure would be a major concern. Gravity would draw too much air toward the Earth's center. Leaving See, the now that would just be sick. You could walk to the end of the Earth and just look into the abyss. Air toward the Earth's center, leaving the areas around the edge with no air pressure at all. If you lived in Australia, you wouldn't have enough oxygen to breathe. And if you lived closer to the Arctic, you'd be crushed by the weight of the air. You'd also have to consider that a flat Earth wouldn't have a core, and therefore no geomagnetic field to protect us from solar winds. Everyone would get a serious case of radiation poisoning from the sun. Number 3. Cube Earth Okay, now this one looks the most sick. Earth now has six sides. Unfortunately, none of them are any fun. That's because walking on them would feel like you're constantly climbing up a super steep hill. On this cubed Earth, gravity is strongest at the center of each of its faces. So the further you are away from the center, the more you'll feel its pull. But maybe you won't notice it. After all, you'd only be able to live near the center of each of its sides. That's because due to this Earth's gravity, all the water would be pooled into the planet's multiple centers. The edges would oh. be rocky and barren, unable to support any kind of life. It would also make traveling to the other sides of the planet incredibly difficult or impossible. People on different sides would likely evolve in different ways. Ooh. And each side would have a different climate and weather. A side that doesn't get much sun might be incredibly frigid, whereas a side that gets lots of sun would look a lot different. Number 2. Hollow Earth now, some of the planet shapes we've seen hollow? on this list are theoretically possible, but a hollow Earth is anything but that. Gravity would force the hollow Earth to collapse on itself, essentially creating a smaller sphere. But let's assume that didn't happen. Well, there still wouldn't be any life because there'd be no atmosphere. Yeah, there would be no magnetic field because our core would be hollow. No magnetic field equals no atmosphere, and not having an atmosphere would mean a ridiculous amount of solar radiation from the sun would be frying us. Plus, if you somehow managed to land on this planet, well, you'd instantly fly off. A hollow Earth's gravity would be so weak that nothing could stick to it. This planet's shape kinda sucks. Next. I don't okay, know, man. I think that would be kinda cool. This I think that would be kinda cool. It's like... You know when you go to like somewhere like the mountains or somewhere with like lots of terrain, it just looks so majestical. So now imagine if you're chilling over here, your view every morning when you wake up, it just like you could see some water coming down. Cause look at this is like the water right here. You can see some water falling down on you, dripping in your face. You see some people living upside down over there, you know, that'd be cool. Next. Okay, for this last one, we're gonna cheat a little bit. A frisbee? What's this? What you're looking at here is known as an Alderson disc. It's like a DVD version of Earth, and oh. it's less of a theoretical planet shape and more of a megastructure that could possibly be created. But what? we'd need a ridiculous amount of materials. You'd likely need to mine the entire wealth of minerals from planets like Earth, Mars, and a few others, making them completely uninhabitable. And this disk would be massive, able to house billions and billions of people. It would be 200. So I'm confused. How come? What's the difference in this one and the flat one? This one just has a another hole. Would that be worse? Just had another hole in the other one. What's the difference in this and the donut? I guess it's flat. Million kilometers wide. For reference, the circumference of Earth is just 40,000 kilometers. But the people living on this Alderson disk would only be able to live in the middle of the band. Closer to the hole near the sun would be extremely hot, and the edges of the disk would be incredibly cold. Yeah, there's also another major issue with this megastructure. Since it's so big, there's the chance that the disk could collapse in on itself and create a black hole. Yeah, that would be a sight like to see. One. Now, that would be a sight maybe to see. instead of contemplating these crazy shapes of alternative Earths, we should appreciate what we have right now. Maybe yeah. in the future, it'll progress in all sorts of interesting ways. Like maybe becoming a Type 7 civilization. 
Blech. Oh, you want me to watch the next video now? Too bad, because I ain't gonna watch it. I just wanted to see this different sizes of the Earth. Which one do you think is the coolest? I think... Oh, no, they're all pretty cool. But like he said, we gotta appreciate what we have, because it's pretty crazy that we live on a floating circle right now. Anyway, that's it for this video. That's me for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap that like button, subscribe if you're already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.